Kamagatamaru was a boat that arrived in Burrard Inlet on May 23, 1914. It had 376 passengers on board, and they were coming to start a new life in Canada. Canada was a dream for many of those passengers at the time. Starting a new life, building communities, starting families, that was the dream. The South Asian community in Vancouver was a very close-knit community. There's only a couple hundred people in Vancouver that time period, and many of them lived together in bunk houses, and they all centered around this heartbeat of the community, which is the Second Avenue Temple. When the Kamagatamu arrives, it arrives at a time when the city of Vancouver is trying to define itself. What sort of city does it want to be? The Kamagatamu challenges Vancouver's predominant view that it should be a white city and a white man's country. The uh, warship Rainbow was uh, called into the harbor and the Indian people were, that were on the Kamagatamaru were given a date that if they did not leave, the Rainbow ship was going to blow them out of the water. I think most of them experienced the racism. So they put all kind of pressure on the politicians to develop some kind of a system to stop this non-white immigration. Their position was that we are uh, uh, British subjects and we should be allowed to land in Canada as British subjects. So they were not successful and were sent back. Kamagatamaru is not just a story of 1914. It's a story of today that is living legacies that are relevant to all Canadians, not just South Asians. I think the, 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 the Kamagatamaru is absolutely a, a history that needs to be understood by all Canadians. It's not a marginal history. My dad came to Canada in 1926, went through every newspaper, and anything that had any article regarding our Indian community, when he cut it out and he put it in the scrapbook, which consists of mm, uh, diaries, newspaper clippings, a passport of a Bog Singh, and other artifacts that he had collected over the years. I think memorials can, if done properly, can at least trigger a quest to try and figure out what it's about. The last thing I, I want to do is, I want to happen is to somehow say that memorialization brings closure. I don't think there can be closure unless there's full understanding and acceptance. When we look in the archive to try to find stories of South Asian history, we find gaps either because the stories were collected or they weren't deemed as being important. What we have now is this amazing opportunity to provide a space for those stories to be heard and to reclaim and retell the story of Canada.